I just couldn't believe it. My heart, my life just flashed before me because I knew it was going to be totally changed. Daryl Caldwell has been living with HIV for seven years. He comes from Cote First Nation in Saskatchewan, where HIV rates are 11 times higher than the national average. A lot of these people are covering up sexual trauma so they turn their way to the bottle or to the needle. 80% of people who have HIV in the province are Indigenous. Caldwell is in hospital for other health reasons. He wants others to know people with the virus can live long, comfortable lives. Get tested is the number one thing I'm, I'm stressing out there. Today's study in the scientific journal AIDS underscores that. Researchers heard about an HIV mutation in Japan and went looking for it in Saskatchewan. They found it, especially but not only in the indigenous population. We're all humans. We all share the same gene pool. The study found anyone with a mutation could rapidly develop AIDS-related illnesses, but that antiviral drugs work if the HIV is caught early. The medications that we have to treat HIV work equally well. Cookers. It's just the usual. Yeah. Water. Thank okay. You. There's filters and a container. Yeah. At this harm reduction agency in Regina, they exchange more than 6,000 needles each day to prevent the spread of HIV. Workers say more education is needed. We are still finding that people are not fully using these resources, and, and that's mainly because of a lack of awareness. HIV groups are pushing for more people to get tested, and Saskatchewan is spending an additional $600,000 this year for HIV medications. Olivia Stefanovic, CBC News, Regina. About 75,000 Canadians have HIV, but one in five don't know it, which makes transmitting the virus much more likely. In 2016, there were more than 2,300 new HIV infections. That's up more than 11% from the year before. And Saskatchewan has the highest diagnosis rate, more than double the national average. And Nova Scotia has seen 16 new HIV cases in the first six months of 2018. That's usually what the province sees in an entire year. Now, it's unclear what's caused the jump, but it's prompted the province to take steps. It's expanding access to pre-exposure prophylaxis, or PrEP. Jurisdictions that fund the medication have reported a 40% decrease in new HIV cases.